हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बाई डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन ओदर मोटिव विच बाइंड्स विद द डी एन ए एंड दैट इज द डी एन ए बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन यू कैन कॉल इट एंड हेल्प्स इन दी जीन एक्सप्रेशन इन दी यू कैडियोटिक सेल्स मेनली एंड बट समाइम इन दी प्रो कैडियोटिक सेल्स ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द मोटिव इन दी प्रोटीन्स एंड देन वी विल सी मोटिव मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स so when uh, we know that protein is having different type of structural arrangements like primary secondary tertiary and quaternary so when we are talking about motifs means we are talking about the three dimensional tertiary structures where different types of primary and sec uh, means uh, secondary structures will be there so certain motifs binds with the regulatory proteins because we are talking about the transcription regulators so it is going to binds with the transcription factors and ultimately regulate the transcription process of the dna so that Uh, gene expression will be managed this uh, protein along with the transcription factor binds to the specific region of the dna and manage the gene regulations there are four different types of uh, motifs we can have we are going to have that is helix turn helix motif zinc finger motif leucine zipper and helix loop helix today we are going to talk about leucine zipper motif which is the another type uh, means one type one one of the kind of motif or dna binding protein motif these amino acids motif binds with the high affinity to the specific site and low affinity to the other portion of the dna and interaction of between these proteins these motifs with the dna is through the uh, non covalent bond that is hydrogen bond or the van der waal forces so let's come and know the leucine zipper motif leucine zipper uh, domains are made up of two different types of motif it is having a basic regions that recognizes the specific portion of dna and it is having a uh, series of leucine amino acid which is spaced seven residue apart from along the an alpha helix that is called as leucine zipper that mediates the dimerization of the process this motif is an amphipathic alpha helix with a series of hydro hydrophobic amino acid residue concentrated on one side with the hydrophobic surface forming the area of contact between the two polypeptides of a dimer there occurs a periodic repeats of the leucine residue at every seventh positions uh, which we are, have told about here uh, in the second portion so it is having a basic regions which it normally recognizes the dna and a series of leucine spaced seven residue apart so after every seventh position we are having a leucine residue this type of repeats uh, repeated structure allow two identical monomers or heterodimer to zip together and forms a dimeric complex initially it was thought that uh, these two dimers are normally forms a zip like structures that's why it is called a zipper uh, motif but later on it found that it is not the zip like structure it is side by side those two are arranged there so if you see here regulatory proteins with the zinc uh, leucine zipper often have a separate dna binding domain with a high concentrate concentration of the basic that is lysine and arginine residue that can interact with the negatively charged phosphate of the dna backbone we know that in the dna we have dna are normally because acids because of the phosphate and they are negatively charged this lysine arginine are the basic amino acid which is positively charged so this positively charged amino acid binds with the negatively charged dna backbone <coughs> so dimer of leucine zipper proteins recognizes short inverted repeats and sequences of the dna and good example of this uh, is enhancer uh, two of the enhancer binding protein that is fos and jun regulations so this is one of the example of uh, leucine zipper leucine zipper that is the dimerization of the two alpha helix you can see this is one alpha helix this is second alpha helix which is dimerizes so normally dimerization occurs at the c terminals uh, domain of the protein there we are having uh, leucine uh, the means both the strand both the alpha helix will be linked together with this leucine amino acids and on the n terminal domain we are having a basic amino acid that is mainly arginine and lysine this with the help of this arginine and lysine or with the basic amino acid this is going to interact with the dna so the uh, means phosphate uh, phosphate sugar backbone or uh, uh, the negative charge phosphate and normally their interaction occurs at the promoter or enhancer regions or the short inverted repeated sequences so by this uh, by this interaction it is going to manage it is going to regulate the uh, expression of a particular gene so this is a dna 
another DNA binding protein which regulates the DNA ex gene expression. So we have already done zinc finger motif. Uh, we have done uh, leucine zipper motif. Another day we will talk about helix turn helix and helix loop helix. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.